13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Happy Monday to you. I'm Ross DiMatteo right now with your 13 Action News Update. And we're learning Tony Shea, the longtime CEO of Zappos, died from complications from smoke inhalation after a house fire in Connecticut. And his death has now been ruled an accident. That's according to the Connecticut Chief Medical Examiner. We have much more information about Tony Shea's life and legacy on our website at ktnv.com. A local judge will not stop Clark County commissioners from making a decision on whether or not to certify the election for Commission District C. Earlier this month, they decided on a revote, but they may overturn that decision tomorrow. Republican Stavros Anthony lost to Democrat Ross Miller by 10 votes with more than 100 discrepancies. That's according to the Registrar of Voters. And if you needed to get tested for COVID-19 after the Thanksgiving holiday, there is now a new testing site available at UNLV. This one is inside of the Stan Fulton building, which is right on the southeast corner of University Center Drive in Flamingo. It's going to be open from 8 in the morning until 4 p.m. Sunday through Thursday, and it is run by Clark County and UMC. You can make an appointment on UMC's website. A nice start to the work week. Temperatures today landing in the low 60s to touch above the seasonal average and highs will hold close to that as we move into Tuesday, but wind speed will really start to pick up. A breezier day ahead of us tomorrow. Through tonight, expect temperatures in the 50s for dinner time, overnight lows in the low 40s ahead of your Tuesday morning. That breezy wind that moves in tomorrow helps kick off a cooling trend for the rest of the week. There's also a lake wind advisory for the Colorado River Valley from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Appreciate the heads up, Danny. Thanks. That was your 13 Action News update, and you can always get the latest news at KTNB.com. Have a great rest of your Monday.